this guitar. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this guitar that Lisa photographed. The ethos of this guitar. Well, uh, about 35 years ago, I was uh, really changing my style quite a bit. So I had this several custom guitars built that were based on the idiosyncrasies of my playing that I wanted. And uh, there was a little store in Hollywood called Performance Guitar, Cooney. And I gave him all the specs and he made this guitar that was perfect for me. So then when I started to join, when I started to join those bands, big bands in the 80s, uh, Dave Roth and stuff, there were a lot of companies that were interested in making a custom guitar for me or having me play their instruments. But um, the... This uh, is a prototype. No, it's not a prototype. No, but it's what you imagined that fit you back. Well, 30 years ago when I, when I started working with Ibanez okay. and they made this custom guitar, the gem, there would be different permeations of it, different right. colors and stuff. So not shortly after that, whoops, sorry, the white ones came out and I just really like them and I, especially this one because I call it Evo and it's uh, e EVO. VO, Evo? EVO, EVO. That was before Evo became a catchphrase. That's right. So there was just something about this, this particular white one that I liked a lot. So I stuck with it and kept playing it. It's been my main guitar for many years. You still take it out? I was going to have it here today, and then I just thought, you know what, I better not. <laughs> do you develop emotional attachments to certain guitars? Well, what I do is I, um, I used to be very emotionally attached, but every guitar you own, everything you own, everything you see is going to come and go and come and go and come yes, and go yes. Entropy and if you don't go first you know so I understand that so when I lose a guitar or it gets stolen or something like that I just look at it like well now somebody else I'm just passing it on um, but what I do develop with an instrument is uh, a personality because you create a personality for an instrument in your own head and uh, this one has the most personality okay. for me because whenever I even see it, it there's a there's a, um, a, a a knowing, there's a, a, a relationship, a connection, right. a recognition. Right. Uh, so that and then they, you know, a, a guitar takes on a personality and it has a character. Yeah. And most of my guitars are like that. See, that's why Lisa's book is so unique, because she shoots the guitars like they're the rock stars. Yeah, well, they are. Yeah. They really are, like They you know, have their own sentient personality. Yeah, they have a... Because they're, they're objects of expression, you know? You, you tell all your secrets to it, it doesn't fight back. Well, sometimes it fights yeah. back. It brings you your livelihood, and it yeah. brings you your suffering. It brings a lot to you, right? Well... Like it relieves my suffering. It relieves your suffering. Yeah, and it uh, it makes music, and it's so much fun. It's like an infinite expression of freedom. Because you have the gift. Everybody's got the gift. Yeah. You make honey. I don't. My bees do. Your bees do. Because Lisa knows about honey. My uncle made honey. We had Johnson honey in our family. Oh! When I photographed the guitar in your house, I saw you had all these jars of honey. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing honey for a long time now. Do you have bees in the backyard? I did. I'm in between hives right now because of the colony collapse, but yeah, I've had up to seven uh, colonies. Right here in Los Angeles. Out of my backyard in Encino. I wanted a jar of that honey so bad. You should have asked. Have. I didn't think I would have given, uh, happily have given you five of them. <laughs> Beautiful, Steve. Thanks Thank for your time, man. Good to see you, Yeah, lot. good to see you, bro.